Hi, this is a video talking about one of the features I uh, was experimenting with uh, after asking some questions on the OrthoForxP forum relating to a setting uh, called Normal Map Strength. I've basically been resetting or redoing some of my old version 1.2 tiles from OrthoForxP and 1.3. Now, to give you a little bit of quick background, uh, what I did notice when I used to fly over 1.2 tiles, which I'm still doing because I'm still converting, uh, was that about 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, in North America during the summertime, it always seemed very dark. Now, this is actually around 6.30, but one of the things I noticed was that, you know, the sun would still be up. Uh, the sun would be lighting up buildings like you can see here, you know, kind of nice golden hour effect. It's a little small, but you might be able to see that on some of the buildings. But the terrain itself did not grab the sunlight very well, even though I knew that the sun was hitting it. Okay. Uh, notice that, you know, you'd think, okay, you'd see glowing golden light on one side and a shadow on the other, but it wasn't happening. And in version 1.3, um, there's a button called normal map strength. It might have also existed in 1.2, but not in necessarily in the same format. I didn't never noticed it. But when you click on it, it tells you a little bit about it. And one of the things it does say was that it used to be 0 0.3 by default. Uh, but the default is now 1 which means exact normals. Now, I'm not a texture person, so I couldn't go much beyond that. In fact, when I read this, I, I was like, I don't really fully understand it. Basically, it says that ortho photos, in essence, already contain part of the shading burned in. Uh, here, by shading, we mean the amount of reflected light in the camera direction as a function of the terrain slope, not the shadows. This option, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So what I did was I just took my exact tiles uh, with the DDS files, the already built imagery, um, and I re-ran them. And instead of, I would load it, okay? Then I would reapply, and it would show the default of 0 0.3 would load in. So I would just switch it back to 1.0, uh, apply, and then essentially run the tile, okay? And what I noticed was this next picture is going to show you the difference. Now, in this picture, it's going to be subtle. So I'm also going to show you live in the sim, uh, scaling the time back and forth. And you'll really see it then. But just to show you this one. So this is the old 1.2. And then when you go to 1.3, now you can see the golden light hitting the sides of the land facing the sun along with it. So if I go back and forth, it becomes even more obvious, right? Look at that. You can start to see that, okay? And what's nice about this is that you know, again, this is about 6.30 p.m., but around 5 p.m., when it would already start to get, like, too dark, even though it was still bright out, uh, now around 5 p.m., the terrain is still lit up, you know, in the appropriate fashion. So let's go have a quick look at that. I put us over here at Jackson Hole, all right? We'll make it something looking like around noon time, right? So everything's nicely lit up and bright. But I'm going to hit Shift-L so that it rapidly goes... 10 minutes at a time and now you can see the shadows starting to cast on the terrain but yet the other side of the terrain is still bright we'll keep going all the way through uh, uh, golden hour right there you know where the sun is kind of nicely lighting up the terrain it looks really nice and cool and neat like you when you're watching a sunset so again uh, previously imagine this if the the other side of the terrain were not lit the whole scene would be very dark in general. It would be just as dark as the shaded side and or, you know, maybe glowing a little bit. Uh, so you wouldn't see much detail as the day progresses. And I don't know, I personally found that I was just left with like a narrow window of daytime that I could still make good detail on the ground when cruising. So hopefully you find this useful. I think it's personally worth rerunning my tiles. I find that it takes about, you know, five minutes to rerun a tile to put this feature in because it's already using your existing imagery uh, even if you don't have the old jpegs it will just recognize the dds files in there so give it a shot keep an old file uh, keep your old tiles uh, backed up uh, each tile you run just in case you don't like it and uh, play around with the settings